For an expert, it is very important that our collective resolve as a nation in claiming what is rightfully ours should never ever waver, especially amid a deliberate and calculated wave of disinformation from a foreign aggressor that is determined to stake its claim on a body of water, a piece of territory that is clearly miles away from its exclusive economic zone. Rod Lagusad tells us more. Consistent and unwavering support to our country's claim in the West Philippine Sea. This should be the attitude of Filipinos according to an analyst. Following China's latest actions, the recent water cannon incident and its continuous disinformation. Dr. Sherwin Ona, West Philippine Sea analyst and associate professor at the De La Salle University explained this is part of China's long-term strategy. He added there is a need for a whole of society approach as this issue involves every Filipino and will benefit future generations. Gawin lang natin mas consistent, Attorney Danny, yung pag push natin ng tamang information, uh, kailangan mas maging matibay ang ating narrative. Ano? Uh, kasi ngayon, makikita ninyo, parang uh, uh, incoherent pa yung ating mga narratives. So, kailangan natin pag-isahin yun, no at ipakita, uh, hindi lamang sa ating mga kababayan, maski sa buong mundo. No? According to Ona, China's action to assert its belief that disputed territories belong to them and at the same time convince the international community. Kung titingnan natin uh, yung ginagawa sa atin, ito'y parte ng uh, tinatawag na gray zone tactics ng uh, China uh, upang ipakita sa atin na you know, um, willing kami i-enforce ang aming paniniwalaan at ito ang gagawin namin sa inyo. No? I-water cannon namin kayo laser pointing namin kayo. What's more concerning according to Ona are the things that are not seen, such as disinformation, altering stories about what's really happened in the West Philippine Sea, including blaming the Philippines. Ona also emphasizes the importance of looking at China's playbook, where it avoids escalation to an armed conflict, but still prepare for it. Ang pinaka-importante dito is yung katotohanan eh. Sino ba ang may hawak ng katotohanan? Di ba? Sino ba ang nasa tama? Sino ba ang pinapanigan ng, uh, ng arbitral tribunal, for instance? No? Um, siguro, ang kailangan lang natin gawin dito sa atin, no? ang kailangan gawin ng ating bansa, ang ating gobyerno, at ng buong sambayanan, no? na, na lalong itulak yung katotohanan na yun. To counter this information, according to ONA, it is important for the country to be observant and critical in correcting misinformation. Rod Lagusad, for the nation. <music>